is how you can make some stylized tree in Blender. Get into Blender, all you want to do is just do delete everything and go all the way up here to edit and go to preference. Now, go to add on and search up sapling tree gen. If you don't have this plugin, just search it up on Google and download this plugin. Now, all you want to do is shift A and go to the curve section and open up sapling tree gen. We're gonna change some property though. Click on this blade. I think this is a little too much, so let's just uh, change it to zero. I think that will look fine. And there, there's a little too many branches for the type of game I'm going for. So let's just change that to eight. Uh, maybe let's just give it a little bit more, like nine looks fine. And now for the curve resolution, let's change that to about three. And so it'll be like a little bit smaller. Press on it, right click, convert to mesh and now let's just add some basic leaf for the tree let's just shift day go to mesh and let's just use a uv sphere and now just bring this up gz and you can like place this around the tree now just click on the sphere uh go to the particle property and press the plus and now uh, we want the hair modifier. Um, that this looks pretty goofy right now, but um, I promise you, it's, it's gonna look a lot better. Uh, let's just change it to around 140, something like that. Uh, let's change the hair length down a bit, cause uh, I think that's a little too much. Uh, we're gonna change all that anyways, but just click on advance and go all the way down here. Go to render. All right, I forgot. Uh, before you add your leaf texture, you basically want to just add a plane. Shift D, R Z ninety. I mean R X ninety, and Shift D again, and just R Z ninety. And now just highlight them, Ctrl J, and rename them to like something like leaves. I, yes, I can spell. No way. And now just click on the tree. Uh, click on the coordinate system. Click on the color picker thingy and just pick on um your thing uh change a path into object and change your skill up to about one and you'll have something uh kind of messy like this but we're gonna change that in a bit then we can scale up a little bit and we can add some um scale randomness and now we can add rotation and we can randomize it you know Scale it down a little bit so everything will be a little bit more compact. Okay, I think 140 hair is a little too much. Let's change that to around 100 hair. Uh, I think it's a little bit better. Uh, let's just mess the seeds around so let's just have a we can have the randomness we like. Uh, there might be a little of um, what I call a Z fighting, uh, I'm not sure it's a professional term, but um, we can just ignore that. Um, that's totally fine. And now, and now just click on a spear without any hair and click on one with hair. And you, you want to do it in that order. If you do it, um, the one with hair first, the, um, the property won't show up. After you do that, you want to go down here and press copy active selected object. And you'll have something like that. And then after you click on it, um, we can like mess the setting a little bit. We can have like a random seed. And let's just do it for every one of them. And now is something kind of satisfying. Just click on one of your uh, ball, whatever. And go to the property tab and make instant real and they'll just all become a meshes and just country 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 J um country. Well, to fix that just go to object relations make single users object and data and now you can country J and after you're done just hide all these spheres so you won't have um like all your stuff fighting. Uh, 
that that makes sense. And now for the texturing part, just basically just go to Y axis. Uh, let's just drag this whole thing down. Uh, go to one the corner, and now your crosshair will change. Uh, drag this up. I guess uh, we're gonna do a side view, and just click on this, and change it to shade the editor. Uh, we can just drag this box, screw that box, shift day. Uh, well, just click on the leaves, and just press new, and you'll have a uh, preset, I guess. And now just shift day, add a image texture. What's up over here? And also add a color. I mean RGB. Just move it over here. And now connect the color with base color, and connect the alpha with alpha. The alpha is basically the shape of the image texture. To fix and get rid of the black border, just go to texture and go all the way scroll all the way down go to settings and change your plane mode into alpha clip and whoa that looks pretty good and now just go to uv editing mode uh go to the texture tab click on this press open and just find a random color gradient thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you next time